All right, thank you for tuning in to this video here. If you've got a 7.3 power stroke and you're having issues with it starting, which a lot of them do have when it gets cold outside, uh, please watch this video here because it'll show you how to troubleshoot and see whether you've got a glow plug issue or if, you've, if it's related to something totally different. Um, I've got other technical videos in my queue here, um, and I also got some videos for just general car stuff um, like hot rod projects so if that's what you're into please like share subscribe because i'll be uploading more of that stuff i've got more projects and stuff to to upload in here but anyways uh here's to the troubleshooting i already hooked my computer to it to verify your icp and ipr valve values um which those are fine whatever it whatever icp is demanding on these glow plug relays uh, this right here is your battery feed that's actually out to your glow plugs, which right now, um, with this power probe here, it's actually, you know, showing that it's a ground, obviously you know, it's not energized. Um, this right here will be your battery. Uh, I mean, not your battery, but your PCM positive, which, you know, keys also, it's not going to do anything. And then this right here, this stud here is going to be your, uh, PCM trigger. All right, so this is many days later where we got a cold morning, but now I'm checking the amp draw side versus side. Uh, see the driver's side, it started off about 14 amps, now it's dropped down to nine. Uh, let's see what our other side is, if we can catch it. And it's like I said, it's about 38 degrees, so hopefully uh, we don't run out of time here. Uh, give me one. I don't really have a clamp on there that well. Let me see if we can get in there to see that. Uh, I guess you probably can't see it on the camera, but that's only six amps uh, that's coming out side to side. And again, we can clamp here to see what our total amp draw is. And doggone it, if our amp meter didn't cut off, we've only got about about 25 amps or so. So that would make sense uh, where we had about 14, 15 over there, and then one amp over here. I mean, not one amp, but like maybe about five amps over here. Um, so with that being said, um, I would probably check, pull it down. It's probably gonna need glow plugs um, for sure. Uh, but these trucks right here, like I said, it's this morning, it's about 35 degrees out here. This thing should be pulling initially 100 and close to 120, 150 amps uh, on the initial key on. Um, and then, you know, it peter off some, but it shouldn't be that low as it is side to side. Cause I mean, if there's only five amps, going over here you figure five amps divided by four uh by four four glow plugs that's essentially a little over one amp per glow plug that's definitely not enough to get hot for it to start um so that being said this truck right here i would definitely say probably does need glow plugs uh but to verify i will definitely uh pull it down and get the glow plugs out okie dokie here on our 7.3 we get the glow plugs uh new glow plugs in so what i'm gonna show you is the same thing you do to test light on the test light you just hook the uh the clamp to the positive side and then uh touch each one of the glow plugs to see if see if they're grounded well i don't have a test light um which is odd enough i do have a power probe but just to show you how you do it with a multimeter here uh you see obviously it's open open lead open lead open loop all right so that was touching. All right, now I'm gonna show you the one glow plug that I know for. All right, I don't know. Let's see if I can zoom in. All right, you'll see that the end of my lead is on the top of that glow plug there. So that's what all of them should do. All right. And when you do that, obviously, like over here, let me see if I can get it over there again. You see what the actual measurement is. All right, that's on the lead. And that shows less than a ohm, six tenths of an ohm. So we're that's a good glow plug. All right. Now, this one here beside it, this is one of the ones that's about burnout. Um, there you go. This is one that's about burnout. You don't hear it making any noise or whatever on our meter here. But this one, let's see. One, let's see. Yep. You can see it, see the lead there. 
All right, come over here. We got to open. All right. Let's see, this one in the back, which is one of the easier ones to get to. And that was me touching the thing. All right. Got the lead on there. Let's go over here and check. Got to open. So that's three or four that are bad for sure. All right. Now, this first one actually does have some res resistance. It's uh, about 50, 51, 50, 51 ohms of resistance. However, it's not enough to allow the buzzer to go off on the meter here. So that shows that it's not a direct uh, direct short to ground. Cause, uh, so the way glow plugs work is that you got 12 volts or 24, whatever you know, operating off of. System voltage comes from, from your relay over to your glow plugs. Your glow plugs are grounded in the head. Um, and if there's an open, obviously they're not gonna heat up. Um, cause it is kind of funny that glow plugs are direct grounds anyways, you know? Um, so when they're good, they're like that one over there, where it's a 10th of ohm. When they go bad, they're either burnt completely open or they, uh, are on the process of burning completely out, which is like this one here. So anyways, there's that. That's how you troubleshoot these glow plugs. Alrighty. There's the part number for the glow plug there. Genuine Motorcraft part. I suggest if you've got a 7.3 or international, uh, replace it with either international or motorcraft parts. Well, I didn't have time enough to put the, uh, didn't have time enough to put the camera on the amp meter there, but just flipped the key switch on, the initial key switch, um, it was like 120 or so. It's about 36 or so degrees out here. I do have the jumper cables from my Honda on this truck here. Uh, left the daggone key on on this thing and batteries got kind of weak. But uh, something that I didn't mention is that the glow plug relays on the 7.3 um, and also on the 6 liter, when you key the truck on, your wait to start light, your dummy light, that goes out after like maybe 15 or so seconds. The glow plug relay actually stays energized up to three minutes. Um, it will stay energized up to three minutes and a whole lot of folks don't understand that or don't know it. Um, so you don't have to key it on and turn it off and key it on every time the, the wait to start light goes off. You can actually leave the key on for up to three minutes. You know, it also, you know, it's dictated also by your, your outside temperature, but um there you go so anyways uh hope you enjoyed the video um i'm gonna leave the key on with that jump i'm gonna leave it on until this goes down some more you see now the uh amps have just lowered down to pretty much right about 50 amps so that's 25 per side essentially um so we're gonna let that let the key stay on. Uh, it's probably gonna stay on for probably about another. I'd say probably 45 minutes. I mean, not 45 minutes. 45 seconds uh, to another minute or so, um, and then we're gonna try to start it and see what happens. See if it fires right on up or not. All right. Hopefully, this thing will go ahead and start. All right. So. <clears throat> that's old 7.3 um this is super duty body style but even with the obs body 7.3s uh pretty much same thing uh okay so let's do a quick recap here of what this video entailed all right <clears throat> so we had a 7.3 power stroke that was having issues cold starting um as long as it was warm and then the guy that owned the truck told me pretty much as long as it was you know pretty much over 65 degrees truck would fire right up but if it was any colder than that it pretty much killed the batteries to start it all right he took this truck to a couple different shops and a couple different folks they said hey man it just needs a glow plug relay um he said he put a glow plug relay in it and it started up fine one time and you know after that it just started like crap again all right so what I did, we will check and see what our amp draw was coming out of the glow plug relay. And we seen it, it was probably around like 25, 30 amps. Um, and then when you measure it side to side, bank to bank, you seen that the passenger side bank was only drawing about five amps where the driver side was drawing the remainder. So 20, 25 amps or so. All right. So what we did, we replaced the glow plugs on both sides. And you seen in the video there, 
where I went and I actually checked to see what our, um, to see if any of the glow plugs were actually burnt out or not. And we found that we only had, we had one glow plug that was actually still good. And then we had one that still was draw, that still had some uh, resistance or some continuity. Um, but it was getting on the higher end where it was starting to pretty much almost burn out. And then the other remaining two on the, on the passenger bank had burnt completely out. Um, we didn't check any on the driver's side, but you know, I really didn't, you know, for the sake of this video, it wasn't any point of, of showing that. <clears throat> Now, once we got the new glow plugs in, you seen that it would draw initially 150 amps, which is what they should draw uh, uh, from the initial key switch on. You should see around like 125, 150 amps. True international part number um, glow plug relay or a Motorcraft glow plug relay will draw 150 amps on the initial key switch start. Um, but I have found that some of the cheaper uh, glow plug relays like your Napa brands or your um, or advanced Iowa AutoZone brands, uh, parts store brand glow plug relays. I have found that they only draw like initially like 115 or so amps, 100 amps, um, and then go on down. You know, so if everything you got is fresh, um, you know, obviously 150 amps initial and then petering off to say like 50 amps is a lot better than it starting off at 100 amps and then petering off to say like 25, 30 amps or whatever. And then you see, you know, it'll obviously help the truck start. A 7.3 power stroke. I hope this video will help you troubleshoot whether you've got a glow plug issue or whether you've got a glow plug relay issue or if you've got a completely different issue altogether. Um, if you like what you've seen and this helped you, please like, subscribe, all that stuff.